you've had a couple of games out now, which is uh, not always normal for you because you've had so many games consistently on the break in the league. Yeah. Yeah, that's um, it, yeah. Do you feel like it's it's been a rest that's actually helped you? Um, I think so. Obviously, at the time when the gaffer told me, um, mm. obviously I respected his decision. He's, he's the gaffer, and uh, you know I was, I was disappointed, but um, you know I'm, I'm here for the team, and uh, I think Willow came in, and I was I was fully behind him, and uh, and Troy as well, and uh, yeah, I, I, <clears throat> my job my role reversed a little bit then, and I was there to support the lads and, and the team, um, and uh, it, it was frustrating, but I think when I look at it, it was probably. I probably needed a rest, you know. Like you say, I played a few, a few games on the bounce. Yeah. So I, I think I said I've not missed the league game for 18 months yeah. nearly. So, I mean, I've got to look after myself at some points, and, and the gaffer probably saw it, and, and, and the staff. So, you know, yeah, it's probably it's probably done me done me well. I feel I feel better in training now. So, yeah. you know, hopefully we'll go into the game at the weekend if if I'm selected, um, fresh and, and ready to go again. Yeah, because obviously James has been called up to the mm. full Wales squad, so you know, kudos to him. But obviously, it does give you the opportunity to come back into the side and and uh, and show the, the team what they've been missing over the last fortnight. Yeah, of course. I mean, you, when you're out, the team you're always chomping at the bit, especially when you're fit um, to get back in. Um, and good luck to James. He's been called up for Wales, but like I say, it's a it's a chance for me to get back in the team now and and, <clears throat> and try and get them clean sheets and. and Try and organise the defence in the way that I, that I normally do. So, yeah, the the, the break's been good. Um, it's given me time to um, relax and, and just lay off training a little bit, and then then pick it up at the, the end of the week. So, you know, um, hopefully it'll do me well, and I I'll be raring to go. It's frustrating watching from the sidelines. I know, especially for you, because you, you're so involved in the first team um, mm. normally, and and watching on Saturday would have been frustrating because I'm sure there have been points in that game that you felt like. Maybe I could have done that. Maybe I could have done this, and and it's frustrating more so because of the clean sheet the week beforehand, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, watching from the sidelines never, never great, but it gives you a different perspective on the game. Um, <clears throat> you're not involved in it, so you you see things that maybe you wouldn't while you're playing, mm. you know. So <clears throat> yeah, there was bits that I I picked up on that we can improve on, and I thought to be fair, the the lads at the back yeah. got to grips with it well second half. Um, <clears throat> I think over the course of the season when we've been watching the DVDs we've, we've played probably a bit deeper than we should yeah. and um, I thought second half that um, the lads got up and, and dealt dealt better with their forwards and, and we were mainly playing in their half which is obviously what we want to do so it's little bits you pick up on when you when you are watching and, and maybe that's helped as well you know so um, yeah obviously I'm um, just looking forward to trying to get back in the team and if I do play then and taking what I've seen and, and, and what I know into the games.